What's going on everybody, T Reaper here, back again with another video. And I am going to basically say this is my view, but this is also based on actual fact on this concept. Now I already know, I already did, you know, a piece on digital games last month, but I'm gonna, you know, go through it again. And this is a shout out to all you Xbox gamers that are experiencing this problem and do not understand this problem. And I will go over it one last time. So we all know that last night we Xbox Live was experiencing some, you know, technical problems or, you know, server issues. You know, you couldn't access, you know, um, party chat. You couldn't, you know, get certain social and crap like that. And then I also saw a bunch of complaints about digital games. Well, guys, I'm going to say this one last time. Okay. And this is really simple. If Xbox Live servers are experiencing certain problems like social and gaming, marketplace, if marketplace and social and gaming are having issues, if the store marketplace is having problems and is having network issues, which means it cannot connect to the servers or it is malfunctioning, that means all your digital content, digital games, especially digital games and sometimes digital apps like Netflix and Hulu sometimes have issues around this problem. That means your digital games will not work because technically when you buy a digital game you are basically rent you are renting it from xbox live marketplace and that is where it's being streamed from so xbox live needs to be up and running for the digital content that you own to be working and to be playable so if xbox live is having certain issues at the time that will give you an error code saying you do not own this game or it cannot be accessed at this time that is why if you choose to have an all digital library on your freaking console and you do not have any discs, that is a really bad idea because if you have only digital and something like that happens, your entire game library is totally worthless. Now don't get me wrong, sometimes when this happens certain games are affected more than others, certain game servers are affected more than others, but a majority of the time if the marketplace is completely down, no digital game is activated and no digital game can be accessed. Kind of like last month when they had like a freaking, you know, nine hour, you know, concept and half, you know, the day no one could access, you know, Halo 5 or, you know, uh, freaking Call of Duty or any of that kind of crap. Now, when that happened, I basically could uh, access it. I couldn't access Halo 5 for about two hours and then no issue was a problem except for Hulu. And I think I already went um, by that. But, you know, that's the problem with, you know, digital games and digital libraries and is it's tied to the market uh, marketplace on Xbox Live. So if marketplace on Xbox Live is experiencing problems, it's you know not running properly, and then that also affects your digital library. That's why me as a gamer, I suggest you go with digital library and also physical disc library. Because if there's something wrong with the digital problem on the service, you can always access your disc games and that practically almost never has a problem. But I just wanted to point that out there, you know, so you know, don't always go with digital because sometimes Digital is not, you know, is not always a good thing. Sometimes you will experience experience problems, and you just gotta deal with it. That's all I gotta say. But this is T Reaper. Thanks for watching. Shout out to all my new and old subscribers. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a, a good afternoon. Later.